When you think about Nepal, you may think about trekking through the breathtaking scenery of the Himalayas, especially Mount Everest, which is the world's highest mountain above sea level, and Annapurna. But there's much more to this country. It is the birthplace of the Lord Buddha. It has an enriching and wide variety of flora and fauna, and together with its delicious cuisine, Nepal is one of the most peaceful countries in the world. Despite its diverse ethnicities, cultures, and religions, it is no wonder tourism is a big part of Thai Nepali. Relations. Tourism is important uh, in the sense that uh, we have exchange of tourists between our two countries. Before COVID, from Thailand, we used to welcome more than 50,000 uh, Thai tourists in Nepal. The number of uh, Nepal tourists uh, was very high uh, before COVID. It was um, estimated around uh, 60,000. Yeah. So we hope that after COVID situation, uh, this, uh, this trend, this uh, exchange of visitors will resume. For um, um, bird watching paradise, we have uh, uh, around more than 800 species of birds um, in Nepal. We have fascinating butterfly watching. We have um, seven uh, world heritage sites mm. in capital, cultural site. Nepal can cater different uh, variety of uh, tourism uh, activities uh, from um, religious and cultural tourism to adventure tourism. Nepal is a multicultural and multi-ethnic society. So we respect each other. Nepal people are peace-loving. Ambassador Ganesh Prasad Dakal has been living in Thailand with his wife and children since mid-2019. He has traveled extensively throughout Thailand and has not returned home since due to all the many engagements he has. Needless to say, he has been enjoying his time here despite the pandemic. Before coming to Thailand, I was very fond of uh, eating Thai food. Now, uh, uh, my another hobby is playing golf. Thai uh, golf clubs are very popular. I feel very homely here. Mm. Uh, whenever I, I go to any part of Thailand, I feel homely. We are from landlocked country. And we always be, become very happy to see the beach. Um, and Thailand has very world famous beaches. That is one of the attraction of our people um, uh, to uh, visit Thailand. There were about 2,500 Nepalis living in Thailand pre-COVID, half of whom were university students. The number has since dwindled to about 1,500. Thais and Nepalis have a lot of similarities, the ambassador said, especially the shared common roots in Buddhism, even though the majority of Nepalis identify as Hindus. The most important thing is our bilateral ties are very old very old, it is more than 2,000 years old. In terms of similarity, there are family value system, mm. uh, family um, uh, structure, and uh, respecting each other in the family and others, and um, uh, cooperative nature, smiling, kindness. The most important thing is the teaching of Gautam Buddha and philosophy of Buddhism are the strong binding threads between the people of our two countries. As you know, Nepal is the birthplace of Gautam Buddha. The Lumbini is the birthplace. So this is the um, very important place and uh, that connects people of our two countries. And uh, one good news uh, to all Thai uh, friends is that Nepal government has built one international airport mm -hmm. near Lumini, just mm -hmm. 20 kilometers far from Lumini. That is named as Gautam Buddha International Airport. And this airport is going to operate very soon. Nepal is not far from Thailand. Mm. It is just three hours flight from here. Mm. And before COVID, there were three flights per day between two capitals. Trade and investments are other important aspects in the bilateral relations. There are some uh, high investment in Nepal, uh, but um, we expect more investment mm. because uh, this uh, investment e in Nepal is not um, very much e um, uh, in comparison to our to flow of uh, Thai investment in, in other country. So we want to minimize our trade deficit because we are having trade deficit with mm. Thailand. But we want to minimize this through, through our export of our product, pasmina item, uh, woolen carpets, and um, um, there are some uh, footwear here and tea and coffee. 
Apart from representing Nepal in Thailand, His Excellency is also accredited in Cambodia, Laos, Singapore and Vietnam. He has traveled to all those other countries except Vietnam so far for his work, amid limitations on travel brought on by the pandemic. But Mr. Dakao is hopeful things will soon return to normal. So far it has been managed, but uh, we believe that this COVID will not remain long. Yeah? So after that, we will uh, travel to uh, the accredited country. Hatay Deshikitirana reporting for Thai PBS World.